Today we're in Hemet, California, and we're going to be visiting one of the mysteries of Southern California, Hemet's Maze Stone. So the Hemet Maze Stone is a petroglyph of unknown origin that was rediscovered in the Hemet area in 1914 by a rancher. When archaeologists examined some of the artifacts that were found near the stone, they've dated it to about 500 years ago. What's interesting about it is the petroglyphs are unlike any other petroglyphs or any other Native American petroglyphs that have been found in the area. As you'll see when we get to it, the stone has a maze-like pattern on it that's in the shape of a swastika. Because the swastika is commonly identified with Buddhism, there's been some speculation that the stone was created by ancient Chinese sailors who got lost at sea and somehow ended up in California and then somehow went from the coast of California all the way into Hemet and created this stone. That seems pretty unlikely. There's a lot of swastikas in Native American culture as well, so probably probably not Chinese in origin, but that's one of the theories of who created this stone. The reason that there is even question about it is because the stone is unlike most other Native American art that's been found in the area. So it doesn't match other Native American petroglyphs and geoglyphs that have been found in the area. And so they don't really know who created this. All they do know is that it's about 500 years old at least. The road to the stone is closed. It dead ends about a quarter mile from the stone and then you have to walk the rest of the way. It is paved the entire way, though it is slightly uphill. It's not a bad hike at all to get there. And the stone is right over there in that fenced off area. And here's a closer look at the stone with two fences around it. Of course, anything old and ancient, there are some people who want to vandalize and destroy it, and that's why there has to be two fences around this. The Maystone is a registered California historical landmark. Hopefully we can get a good shot of the sign here. Now, like I said, there are two fences around it, so it does make getting a good shot of it difficult. And here's a better look at the maze itself. In the bottom left corner, there is a swastika that's not original to the maze stone. That was vandalized later on. And that's part of the reason there are two fences around it now. Jessica just climbed this rock to uh, get a better shot of the maze and shoes were lost in the effort. And I mentioned earlier, this was rediscovered in 1914. In 1956, Mr. and Mrs. Roger E. Miller donated the Maze Stone and the land around it to the county of Riverside as a county park. I should mention as well, there is a pretty incredible view of the valley below from the Maze Stone. It's amazing to see this and think about who created it and what their motivation for creating it was. I mean, it can't be easy to carve this intricate design into the stone, so it must have had some purpose. But who knows? I mean, that's just completely lost to time. So that's our look at the Hemet Maystone, which is a pretty cool thing to check out if you find yourself in the Hemet area. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.